Styles you love and the features your family needs. They're built with durability in mind for memories that last. Visit Clayton Homes of Hammond today to see how you can save on their selection of beautiful homes. Clayton Homes of Hammond is dedicated to helping you find the perfect home for your life. Your first memory starts here. Stop by or visit ClaytonHomesHammond.com. All right, all right, I'm getting this song ready. Uh, I had a song in there, but that's not the one I want to play. So, let's see. How y'all doing out there, first of all, in Radio Land? Y'all, I got a lot of new music, and I don't know what to play today. Brother Jane told me that he jammed so hard. I was in church, y'all. I ain't get to hear him. But I know one thing. Him and Olivia got a song that they play all the time. And I fooled around and saw it on YouTube. And when I saw it on YouTube, baby, they was having a good time in that church. They was dancing. They was sliding. They was just having a good time for Jesus. And a lot of people probably said it was worthy. But it wasn't worthy to me because I'm not bound by tradition. And I'm not bound by doing it in the traditional way. And then when you get through doing the traditional way, you still ain't living nothing. Oh my God. I ain't bound by all that. I ain't bound by all that. Baby, they were sliding all over the place on that uh, video and I was loving every minute of it because y'all know me. Y'all know me. You can call it the flesh. You can call it what you want. I love to dance and I used to like to dance and I like to dance for the Lord too and I just like to have a hallelujah good time in the Lord and I tell you this is exactly what we had for anniversary 32. Sister Jesse Hart Evangelist Jesse Hart, Pastor Apostle Cynthia Hart, and Brother Joe. Oh my God, they danced a while in the Holy Ghost. And also, um, Apostle, oh, I'm trying to think of his name. I got his name down here somewhere. But Apostle Jerry, that I just met the Sunday before, and, and just I fell in love with him and his beautiful wife. Oh, baby, they praised the Lord a while on July the 15th. My God, my God, you talk about God showing up and showing out. We believe God for that, and that's just what he did. And we're going to call our sponsors out the wild, because if it had not been for you, my God, my God, my God. We didn't sell many individual tickets, but we gave a lot of tickets away because we had a lot of sponsorship. And we thank God for that sponsorship. We thank God for that sponsorship. Ah, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all. And it still was tight. And it still was tight with the bill. And we want to say going forward, that's all we need is sponsorship, sponsorship. Because y'all know, to me, whether it's 15 in the building, whether it's 100 in the building, it really don't matter. I just want to make sure the artists are paid and we can have a hallelujah good time. I, I did no different this time than I do all of my anniversaries. I had myself a good time. Now this time I didn't move around as much as I normally move around because Mama Bessie wanted me to sit down and have an anniversary. But I do need to put this out. The anniversary is just a problem to me. It's not about the anniversary. The anniversary is because I got people that say they love me and that gives them an opportunity to just come out and support what I'm doing what I'm doing somebody said well we still you had to give out too much and you had to pay out too much and you still didn't have nothing left and you still had to do a fundraiser for to get your air fixed and all that good stuff but what we got to realize though uh Anything people want to do for me, do it at that time. We have that date set aside every year. Just do the overflow for that, and then I have something left. <laughs> we don't want to do no extra day because you got too many people doing things. There are too many other events. There are too many other people that need dates on the calendar. So when you go and schedule something extra on the side, well, that's going to conflict with somebody else. And that's why I said everybody's. They are doing a big, 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 big program for Sister Olivia and Brother James Scott. You ain't got to do nothing extra. Come to that and sow into that. Give into that. Pour into that. So they won't have to be trying to do another date somewhere else. I mean, we got to work together, y'all. I want to send a big old shout to Prophetess George Scott. 
We talked to each other last year. We both had something two Sundays from each other. And I talked with her and we talked and we decided that she would do hers in June and I would keep mine in July. And both of them were very, very, very successful. Because when God people come together and do things right, you are going to have success. And everybody's going to be successful. And I just thank God for uh allowing people to come in here to groups because the groups were gonna come and we had sponsorship and we needed some more we needed some more and god bless people gave and we got some more because we bring top of the line groups in now we told the people we don't know if this was gonna be the last time we try to bring top of the line groups in but it just depends on the sponsorship it depends on the sponsorship but i just want to let you know if there's any everything any anything that you want to do for me, you can do it at that anniversary time. Y'all can do it at that anniversary time. Y'all can do it at that time. But we also we got to take care if we decide to bring the big groups in and y'all calls for the big groups. Uh, y'all calls for the big groups. So if we decide to bring the good big groups in, we just need your support. That's all. That's all. And we want you to look forward to this program that sister Teresa Perkins is having. We want you to look forward to that program. She needs you. She needs you in the building. She needs you to get a ticket. She needs your sponsorship. She's bringing in the mighty clouds. Matter of fact, she's trying to do two days to make ends meet. So we want Hammer to show up and show out. Unfortunately, I'll be with her Saturday, but I have applications in Houston that Sunday. But we need y'all to be there for those in this area. We need you to be in the house on August the 20th, okay? Be in the house on August the 20th. And hey, September the 17th, we got some veterans going to turn 70 years old, y'all. Oh, we, we got veterans. Yes, she's a veteran. She's a veteran in all kind of ways. But she's a veteran. Sister Olivia Robinson will be on the radio, have been on the radio some 40-something years. Her father had the radio station 61 years. Brother James Cox has been on the year, on the radio 40 years, too, because I've been on the 30, well, I've been on the 23, and he was on it before I came on it. He was promoting before I started promoting. I've been promoting 30 years, teaching the word 32 publicly. So, we want you all to come out in numbers at the Sweet Home Missionary Baptist Church on September the 17th. But before we get to September the 17th, there are some $25 tickets. And that's for the program for the late George Berkman memory. And there are scholarships that's going to be given out. So please get in touch with um Sister Teresa Perkins and find out if you can do a contribution to that scholarship and also get some tickets, maybe even just sponsor some tickets for some other people to go. We thank God for everybody who made do with the sponsor tickets, everybody who bought a ticket. Uh, we want to send a shout out to Alabama, Brother uh, Miller. Came seven deep, his whole group bought tickets to support the Alabama group. So, y'all, we just had an awesome time. And I got a lot of music I need to play. So, yeah, Brother James, I'm going to shut up. But I had to go ahead and uh, let the people know that God is so awesome. God is so good. Uh, Brother Bob Holloway now broke down and still was able to get here and hook up and start at a decent time. Their bus air went out and messed up the brakes and they had the rent stuff and all of that good stuff. But we thank God for the groups getting here safely and sound. And one of our groups didn't make it because they were having group problems, but we still had seven. So that was sufficient enough. And we want to send a big old shout out to uh, Pastor Levi Ash Wright, who came and stepped right in unexpectedly as that surprise uh, guest for the sermonette. And did he not give me a message? Okay. Well, now I'm going to go to uh, Pam Ruff, y'all. I didn't have it set up right, so I had to stop a minute and do some talking. And it's still acting a little crazy on that turntable, but I know y'all want to hear that song. This one got old on me. And yeah, by the way, she was in the house. She came all the way by herself on Saturday. She was in the house. That's my big sister there, y'all. Okay, well, the song don't want to come up, so we're going to go to another one and we're going to come back to it because I know it's a must for y'all. I know it's a must for y'all, but I can't say enough about my own. Okay, it's up, it's up, it's up. Listen up.
All right, all right. Just another day, just another day that you kept me. The one and only Sister Pamela Ruff. That's right. She was in the house all the way, all the way from Birmingham, Alabama. Y'all know she sang that song because she had been through before. But since then, they sent her home to die with COVID. But she's still alive. And she just got back focused enough to drive her own self. And she came all the way from Birmingham, Alabama, by herself to see her girl. That's right, to be with her girl. And we thank God she made her home safe and everything. All right, that's Sister Pamela Ruff. Y'all know Sister Pamela Ruff got her group back together before her mom died and rehearsing and practice just to come do my anniversary of one year. I tell you, I tell you about God. I tell you, won't God give you people? My God, my God. But well, anyway, here we go to our very old. And this is one of my favorite songs. They didn't get to sing it because we had to push for time after the breakdown and all of that good stuff. So this, I, we can hear it today, y'all. We can hear it today because this is the way I'm feeling right now. Listen up. <laughs> 